This episode of Intoxicated is brought to you by Rocket Money. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving an average person up to $720 a year. So stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash talkx. Again, rocketmoney.com slash talkx. Hey, Kelcats, welcome back to another episode of Intoxicated. I'm your host, Kelsey Davies, and I am here with a very special guest. We have Chris Starr here drinking her truly. Um, I think, yep, there we go. What's good, guys? <laughs> I got a new, I got all new equipment for this podcast, so I'm going to be testing it out here, guys. I really hope I could do it. I tried to memorize what each button does. So we got like, one? yeah, go ahead. Ooh, that's like a good one. Okay. That's a perfect time to announce your intoxicated choice of the night. I'm drinking a truly, a truly pineapple seltzer flavored. I am smoking my Mary J, my Mary, Mary J, Mary J. Wanna, Mary J. Wanna. Why do I have a Southern accent now? <laughs> Mary J. Wanna. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. <laughs> but if you guys don't know who Chris Starr is, she is a very good friend of mine. She is my sister, basically, like my my soul sister. Um, we call each other scissoring soul sisters. It's just, it's a joke, you know, but it, it's funny. So we always kind send of, each other scissors kind on of on Twitter. Kind of, kind of not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but we have we have a we have a good time with it. Chris does a lot of paranormal content. Shout out like everything you do. She has a crystal shop. If you guys like Thank crystals, <gasps> crystals. <laughs> So I have been into the paranormal since I was a child. I grew up in a haunted house. I still live there. I have many haunted dolls, including my haunted Jack in the Box. I had my own TV show on Travel Channel and I do- Ghost Loop. YouTube, Ghost Loop. And I do YouTube and- uh, 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 What do you do? <laughs> I do- I had to do that one. I really had to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I do YouTube full time and I own a crystal shop. Yeah. Dude, you're talking so softly. You're making me like, it's like ASMR. That's should we point. talk like this the entire time? That's, that's the point. Is that what we should do with this whole podcast? I don't know if I could do it. I, I'm just like too hyper. I'm too loud to do it. Dude, that's a good one. That's like a juicy one. Wow. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> That is my intoxicated I choice is weed, believe. marijuana. <laughs> I already said that. <laughs> I just had to add the sound effect as well. Okay, I have to be like up for this podcast. Otherwise I can't, I can't sit here and talk like, I just can't do it. It makes me cringe when I do it. When other people do it, it's nice. They like listening to meditations, but we're not here to do that. We're here to, um, dude, I left my phone with all my notes downstairs. <laughs> oh my God, can we do anything? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, literally yeah. this all the time. No, it is. Like one thing after another. I didn't charge the camera battery, so we had to wait. Chris, why don't you explain what happened this morning while I go get my phone? Okay. It, yeah. it was very so that, traumatic. Oh, we had okay. a traumatic morning. All right, so here I go. Um, so it started at three o'clock in the morning. I woke up. I had a really lucid dream of something falling out of the sky and crashing into us, like where I I am right now at Kelsey's house and it killed us. And I woke up sobbing. It took me forever to go back to sleep at eight o'clock on the dot. This is really fucked up. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me because I swear to God, I swear on all the gods, if you were here, you as well would be freaking the fuck out. Okay, so eight o'clock on the dot, it sounded like a missile flying over Kelsey's apartment complex. I was paralyzed in fear. I was truly waiting for the missile to hit. I was like, this is it. This is my time. I'm toast. I'm fucking toast. I frantically am like, no, I, I can't die here alone. So I ran into Kelsey's room. Her and Drew are like sprinted. 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 Into we caught this room. on camera on her, her <laughs> on like the ring camera. <laughs> <laughs> it only got like a few parts of it, but it got so the it was so loud. Like it was two, what are they called? Like two like angel jets. I think they yeah, got like, blue angels or Blue something. Angels, they were fighter jets, jets but yeah. they were so loud. No 
one said that at 8 a.m., guys, there's going to be fucking fighter jets flying through. So, like, even the there was an Instagram post of it from the city Instagram, and they had, like, a video of the fighter jets. Everyone's cheering. Everyone's having a great time. Chris is in here crying. No, I'm sorry. Literally crying. I like, run into freaking her room out. <laughs> because I'm like, okay, after I, like, got over the whole paralyzed on the couch moment where I'm like, I'm just going to die here. I was like, no, I'm not going to die by myself. So I run into the room. I'm ready to like hop in bed with them and like just be toast together. And Drew's like, it has to be a jet. And I'm like, no, we're going to die. Like it's a missile. Like we're going to die. So I run because I'm trying to see like what is happening outside. She's in panic all, mode. All, and I'm sobbing the entire time. I'm shaking. I'm, I'm frantic. My hair is like a mess. Like I'm disgusting. I'm sweating. I'm I had ready. no underwear on. I was, I was in a big t-shirt, butt ass fucking naked underneath. Like no underwear, full commando under there. I run to Kelsey's balcony and I'm trying to open the door. I'm like, Kelsey, Kelsey, I can't get the door open. Kelsey. And I'm all frantic and I'm crying. And she comes over. She's like, it's a child lock. Chris. I was like, Chris, it, it's like, it's literally, you have to push up on the screen, like a little tiny thingy. It's pretty easy, but it's like for children, you know? <laughs> okay. But really in my defense, if you guys woke up at 8 a.m. to that, after having that dream, I was like, this is it. This is my premonition. It was actually really terrifying. The like, premonitions coming to life. Being woken up to jets is not on my my list. But like it, it was just so wasn't what I wanted. No, it was so close to the apartment. Like it rattled the apartment. Like everything was shaking and it sounded like a missile hitting like it did no it really with, did with all the fucked up shit happening in the world like when you watch those news videos of like ukraine getting bombed when the, the missiles, rose like, parade was happening during this right and you know what happens during parades like there are some crazy ass people i do not trust it it's like directly underneath kelsey's apartment complex so in my head i'm thinking we're toast we're done this is it the <laughs> missile's hitting but i can't be alone i gotta be in bed yeah, with she's like, I just, no she almost dove into bed with us like literally and then she runs out I'm dying alone you ran out into the living I just chase you with my freak. I'm pulling my shirt down, running with my cooch out. <laughs> it was really aggressive and really intense, but um, we had to share that because it was really, <laughs> it was, it was awesome. I also hit a million subscribers Woo! on YouTube. Where's the applause? I think it's, yep. Yay! Hit a million subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys so freaking much for following me on this journey that has been traumatizing yet very fulfilling. And we've learned a lot. So <laughs> yes. we've been through <laughs> hell and back together it. the past five years. We have. We definitely I, have. I just want to say I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And I'm, just, I'm grateful to be part of the journey, guys. Kelsey works so freaking hard and she's an inspiration to me. And I'm just, I'm grateful to be her friend. Aww. I love you. I love you so much. Aww. You always inspire me. Chris is a really hard worker. She has her thank own you. crystal shop, which we have a collab crystal box oh that is God. available. So you guys get your collab crystal box. We have three different boxes. Yes. Three different boxes, not one, not two. We have three different boxes. One box is like a smaller box with a good crystal starter set. The second box has like a bunch of cool crystals and yeah, you explain. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to explain, explain it. Yeah, I can't okay, do it. guys. So there are three tier boxes. The first tier is just your essential crystal <laughs> the box. The voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like guys. Like, like in commercial. Person. Yeah, <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have three boxes. The first box is just your basic essential crystal box. Box. It comes with some beautiful hand-picked crystals by yours truly, Kelsey and myself, some sage and some incense, crystal bracelets and a necklace. The second box will come with a little bit more than that, actually double the amount of that. Double. The third box, the, the top the line box that we got going includes some manifest that shit that mer some manifest <laughs> <laughs> my asthma cough came out some manifest that shit merch that was designed by myself and kelsey's um lola and jack that she designed as well that we merged all into one design that will be in that box and, and this merch you cannot get anywhere else truth and also you have a chance to win a 150 dollars ginormous crystal tower for purchasing the 300 dollars box and we are selecting quite a few of you guys to win that 
huge crystal. So huge crystal. Buy that like if box. you're into crystals and boxes, this yeah. is perfect yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. This is the way to go this year to start your 2023 new year, new, new energy, energy, new beginnings, leave all the toxic shit behind. Okay. We're going to take a moment here on this podcast. We're going to take a deep breath. Ready? <laughs> And we are going to manifest that this year we are going to hit our goals. We are going to stay positive. We are going to be kind to others. We are going to be successful. Focus on yourself, nurture yourself, and it is going to be an amazing 2023. So make it that. And absolutely cut out anybody that does not reciprocate your same energy. Yes. Only surround yourself with people that match your vibration. That is so important because so they important. will bring you down. Okay. Dude, cutting toxic people out of your life changes everything. everything. It is so <laughs> crazy. Um, I feel so relieved. Me too. Like compared to a couple of years ago, Kelsey and I had such toxic ass friends. There were I, just things that it was just bad. Like we, we had to go through that to learn those lessons. Like we would never never put herself in those positions again. No. But just the fact that we did that, I don't know, like I was so desperate for friends that like I put myself in terrible situations. Me I was too. a people pleaser. I would give yeah. and give and give, give and, and give. give. And, and it's just not of. enough. It's never enough for people. So just Focus keep doing yourself. you guys keep doing you. Success is there. It's all within yourself. So and it's okay if you have one friend, because yes. honestly I have three. Oh yeah. Uh, that's you know what <laughs> I literally have three I am grateful to say I do have a quite a good amount of good people around me and me I'm too. just so freaking grateful for Same. everyone and all of you all of you just like changed our lives I mean you guys hold the power here so thank you thank oh, you I'm gonna give you guys a round of applause <laughs> Thank you guys for being so amazing and helping us and changing our lives and just being so supportive and keeping us freaking going. Yeah. I would not be here without you guys. That is just a given. Like, I'm so grateful. So grateful. Okay. Anyways, on the last episode, I ended talking about, um, I was talking about how we were trying to go back to the gates of hell. It didn't work out oh. because the gates were flooded when I was there and it was just not a good time to go. The energy was, it was just risky. Honestly, it's so good that we did not go though. So one good. Night. We were supposed to go one night and then Kelsey and I took a nap and we friend, never woke up well, our friend was <laughs> supposed to wake us up and he didn't until like midnight. And at that point, me and Kelsey were like, yeah. It's a good idea that we didn't go. Yeah, we didn't want to go down there at midnight. Yeah, number one, and with the energy from that weekend, was we just were not doing. I was not doing well. It was truly the worst time of my life, and I'm not just saying that lately. Like I have been going through a situation that is truly the most traumatizing and devastating thing I've ever gone through. And if we were to go down there with that energy, I guarantee you, one of us would have gone possessed. Yeah. So we sure. save your energy. Make sure if you guys ever go to any haunted places or go to any sketchy places like that, like if you are not in your best energy, don't go. Yep. It's just don't do it. Um, so I want to go back when we are in a better energy to yes. confront that demon that possessed me. I still want to do it because yep. I'm, I'm just petty like that. I just, just kidding. <laughs> Kelsey's so petty that she so wants petty to that I want to confront demon. the demon that tried to freaking possess me. Like, come Wrong. on. That's my Virgo right there. I'm like, I got to stand up for myself. I got to go. I have some things to say. I got it's some like things to say demon. to this demon man who possessed me or tried to, but we did um, end up going back to the old oak tree that I don't even know if I've talked about it on this podcast, but there was a situation where we went to one of the most haunted like oak trees known in California. I don't even know how we found this place. I think a friend found it and then we just like ended up there, but it's said to be a body dumping ground. Not said to be. Oh, oh, no, 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 wait. There, there, that one. I did not mean the other one. I promise you, I did not mean the other one, okay? Because it legit is a body dumping legit. ground. They have found over 30 bodies there, including one September 17th of 2022 this past year. We actually went there on October 17th this past year, one month exactly after they found the woman's body there. So it was pretty sad, like the energy is so heavy and, and it's truly disgusting. Like the energy in the area is just so gross and heavy and dark. It's like a, it's like a cemetery, but worse. It's like, they're not cemeteries laid. are peaceful though. Yeah. This they're more not. peaceful. Some cemeteries I've been to do have bad things in them, but right. like 
as a majority of cemeteries, I think that they are a lot more like m mellow. I don't yeah. know. There's a mellow energy. It's not like it's really spooky to me. I almost feel like more peaceful right. there than I do at a lot of places that I go to, even daily places like stores and stuff. I feel safer at a cemetery, which is so weird. But we went there in 2019 and we found a unmarked grave with like a cross and it had a note that we found underneath this rock. And it said like, please forgive me, Lord, for what I have done. It was kind of this guy confessing to murdering someone named yeah. Mario. And or when we woman, were, we don't know. Well, when we were under the tree, oh, is there, is Mario a woman named too? No, but it was saying like, I thought it was calling the person Mar Mario, like Mario, like the the victim's name was that. That's what I thought. The person they killed. Yeah, that's what Yeah, I yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, whoever killed this person. The handwriting to me looked more masculine is why I, th oh. I have a feeling it was a man. Possibly. It, which is know. why I jumped to that, you know? It, it just was very bizarre. We even called the cops. The cops came and they said, we don't typically do this because it is an active body dumping ground. And we just don't even want to get involved. It's so dangerous up here. They're like, you guys should not be here. But when we heard that there were some young girls up here, we had to come up because you should not be here. So honestly, like they really only came for us. Yeah, but they did dig a little bit. They yeah. got their shovels, like took their shovels out of their trunk and started yeah. digging. And they dug like maybe two feet. two feet deep. You know, they weren't gonna dig a hole. Like whoever buried that body probably made sure to bury it very far down, like yeah. to hide it. Um, but they dug like two feet and there was like a gum wrapper down there. So it looked like someone had been down yeah. there, but they just stopped. And that was it. One time we did go back and we tried to dig a little bit. We didn't, it was raining. It just did not work because we wanted to, we wanted, you know, justice for this person, but we just didn't get it. And now it's all overgrown. I don't know if that, I don't know what happened with that. We couldn't find it, but we did find something else so disturbing. So you guys have to go check out the video. Um, it's yeah. honestly, maybe even a little bit more disturbing considering what we found I don't know if you want to talk about it or have them actually just go watch the video. I think you guys should just go watch the video. Yeah, it, it is pretty disturbing. So the video is on my YouTube channel it is K-E-L-S-I-D-A-V-I-E-S. -E -E there is also another angle on Chris's channel. She has a whole video, which is K-R-I-S. S T A R Chris star. So it's our, uh, it's called, what did I call it? I think I called it returning to the devil's, devil's, oak, tree. devil's oak tree. Yeah. Cause I think that's the nickname for it was the devil's oak tree. And so. I was scratched. Yeah. And Chris got scratched on her neck and they scratched like a literal letter, the letter V on her neck. And you see it so clearly I've in the never video. Been scratched. Yeah. Never, ever, ever. So my energy was so low. I was sick that day. I was just not doing good. I didn't even want to go. I've never been, ex I've never experienced anything like that. So very intense. You guys should go watch the video. Yeah. And even at the beginning, I just knew I was like, we got to make sure Chris is good because yeah. it, her energy was just so low. And I said from the beginning, I was like, they're going to target her. Yeah. I just felt it. And it, it, it happened, unfortunately, but we took a moment to reground ourselves. You'll see that in the video too. So check it out. If you guys already watched it, let me know what your thoughts on it, your thoughts on the belongings that we found that were very, very disturbing. Let us know what you think what you think happened um, there. We would have called the police, but it just wasn't enough for us to bother them because last time we found a whole freaking letter confessing to murder, but they still were like- They didn't do anything. They didn't do it. anything. Yeah. They just don't there. So that's why, but that was pretty crazy. Something was, oh, I just can't. Like there's a hundred percent something up with that thing that we found. Yeah, all those belongings. Um, I want to go into, so I want to give a little bit update on the Idaho murders. They found the suspect. They believe that this is their guy though. They really do. And I don't know. It's really, really interesting. His name is like Brian Coburg. Is that Co what it? Ber Bergen. Berg. Coburg. Cobergen? Cobergen. Cobergen. Brian Cobergen. Wait, let me make sure. We're gonna talk about the psychics as well that were involved in this case because there was one in particular that was very adamant that he was in the woods in some sort of cabin with his knife. And I believe she did say his name was Brian. 
She really? had a lot of good details. Yeah. Wow. She got his name. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I kept seeing blue, like this dark blue, like piece of mm. cloth. And you know, what's weird is like right when I saw his picture, he's in like the same color blue oh, shirt. And it's so creepy. The, his picture, he, he looks like that? Ted Bundy. Why I don't was know. He in but that? that's the, ex that's like the color I kept seeing in my like vision or whatever. But I thought he used some sort of blue cloth to like cover their mouths or something but he I guess he had a lot of um I don't know people just thought he was a weird guy he just had a lot of like criminal criminology well, he was like a PhD in something didn't he, he he was studying with a professor at DeSales University and this like top-notch criminal justice program and for the past couple of weeks, he would wander around the library and ask some of the students really disturbing questions. Like they just thought he was like asking for some sort of report, but it got very redundant and they thought it was really creepy and kind of weird after a while, kind of rubbed them the wrong way. Um, I can't remember the specific questions, but there are some of the students that do talk about this on TikTok that have come forward with their personal accounts of him. So, yeah, I think he was 28 years old, Brian Koberger. Um, he's being held in Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Okay, the Associate Press says he is being held on first degree murder, according to Washington State University Department of Criminal Justice and Criminology. Koberger is a graduate student. So, he wasn't he being like a teacher's assistant? at a college or something and like those are the students that post on like their tiktoks and stuff yeah okay so i believe that this is the psychic who was pretty accurate about her her visions donna serafina i believe that was who it was donna donna i want to because like I thought it was interesting. Then there's another psychic. Well, she calls herself a psychic. She was so adamant that one of the professors, a female per professor was involved with Maddie, one of the victims. And she's now suing that psychic. But the psychic was so adamant about it. Really? And she was just telling this bullshit story that had nothing to do. She's clearly not. It's like when I get visions, I they're very specific. A lot of times Chris could agree. Like they are very, very specific. But sometimes I don't know if they're like thoughts or if they're just things I'm just thinking of because sometimes I cannot tell the difference. So a lot of the times I kind of just I'm like, I see this, but I'm not really sure what this means. I would never go and be like, this is it. This is the person like go get them. It's just, I don't think that's cool. I, I feel like, I don't know. I'm, <sighs> yeah. So with this psychic, Donna specifically mentioned that there was some sort of cabin in the woods and he was found in the Poconos, which is actually really close to where I live in New Jersey in Pennsylvania. Um, and the knife would be out there and that is where he's hiding. I can't remember if she said a name or not, but there were so many things that she said that were just so spot on. People were calling into, I guess, like the police force in Idaho, begging them to listen to Donna and I don't know if they took into any like anything that she said. Into Sometimes account. they do work with psychics. Sometimes psychics have helped like FBI and C like CIA yeah. even. There's a lot of documents of them being helped by psychics because of the things yeah. that they see. But I think she was saying she was ignored. And that's just devastating because I don't know, maybe this case could have been solved earlier. Right, right. Yeah. I feel like they should always, but it's so hard to know if someone's, legit or not it's just like people could be like that other girl who were just right bashing on someone based off of a feeling or based off of something that it's just not it right. <laughs> i don't even know how to explain that um but uh there's also some weird there's some weird things happening right now there is like the whole thing with jeffree star mm -hmm. and the illuminati and i'm yeah. kind of scared to talk about it because the things that jeffree so. star was tweeting about it like i'll pull up some of the tweets but it's kind of crazy because i don't know i feel like he would know because he's like up up there i guess in the celebrity world, I feel like he is up there and does have those connections and is able to kind of talk about it. Um, 
but he tweeted, what a crazy fucking year. I escaped the Illuminati in 2021 and they still haven't killed me. Every day I wake up grateful. Like yeah. knowing Jeffrey, St I mean, I don't know him, but like seeing him online, it doesn't, this doesn't seem like a joke. No, it just doesn't seem like, but there's so many other celebrities that are coming out about this. I know I'm not saying I defend Kanye West in any way. Okay. So just, I want you guys to understand that but there <laughs> is something we do not see everything that's happening behind the scenes, okay? So a lot of times when there is something happening with celebrities, I feel like it's the mass media being controlled by these powerful elites to push out a message and push out their agenda. I believe that Kanye West has been controlled for many years. Um, I believe that about Britney Spears as well. Yeah. Kanye West came forward recently and said they even froze his bank account. He has no money. He cannot eat. He cannot do anything. He's one of the richest people, one of the richest celebrities in the yeah. world. But he lost a lot too. Yes. Like recently, didn't he lose his title as a billionaire and stuff like that or something? I can't remember exactly. He but did they say a lot of his things. accounts. They're just taking over completely. What was that sound? I have no idea. It was like a little girl giggling. It was yeah. like, <laughs> Lola. We are right next to my haunted painting. Maybe it was Hannah, because Lola's like 18 years old. She doesn't really sound like that, unless she's on the spear box, then she will. Yeah, that's so creepy. Anyway. But like, <laughs> yeah, we're next to my haunt. If I don't know if this like picked it up or not. I heard it in here, so you guys have heard it. <laughs> haunted apartment, we love it. But We're going back world. into the Illumina, that's weird that we're talking about it and a little girl like giggles. Yeah. Did you know that the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions? Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money is formerly known as Truebill, which is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. There are a large majority of people that have subscriptions that they don't even know about or just forgot about. For example, that streaming service you bought to watch just one show on, or that free trial that you never even got to use. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones that you don't want. And it's really, really simple. All you have to do is find the subscription that you don't want or need and press cancel. Rocket Money will cancel it for you and there's no more long hold times with customers customer service or any emailing back and forth. It just saves you time and energy and Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. There are over 3 million people that have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. I personally have a lot of unused subscriptions that I forgot about and Rocket Money definitely helped me just settle my expenses. So stop throwing money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash talkx. That's rocketmoney.com slash talkx. Again, rocketmoney.com slash talkx. There's so much that I can say about this topic. I have been obsessed with the Illuminati since I was probably 12 or 13 when I first learned about it. I was considered a conspiracist. People would make fun of me and now it's like the thing to talk about and everybody's kind of on board with it. So I'm like, hello, welcome back everybody. Like, I feel like there's like, I don't know. I have this weird conspiracy about the Illuminati that there is a good side to it and there is a really bad side to it as well. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's, you know how like even religion, they break off and they, yeah. through different religions like with the illuminati i feel like there's people who have broken off to do good with like it with the yeah. eye and with the everything like that sure. but then there's also people who do it with the, you know for the bad like to control to do things like that yeah you know what i mean like i don't know there's so many subliminal messages in like a lot of artists songs about the illuminati but then some of them give me more of a positive vibe than the other ones you know yeah. what I mean? And then, so I got to read more of his tweets. So Jeffrey tweeted after that, he said, in 2020, I was going to expose everything. In a matter of days, the Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career, villainized me and flooded the news with lies to discredit me. 
That's what I'm saying. They if, control the mass media and paint a picture sometimes that's not actually true. If you guys only knew the truth about what they are doing to Britney and Kanye. Yeah. And then he said, anyone who challenges the system gets eliminated. Yep. What happened to Marilyn Monroe? What happened to JFK? People that were trying to do good in this world. What happened to them? Right. I really, JFK, like there was something. Marilyn's body like disappeared yeah. for hours she knew after she died. She shouldn't have known. And she was also involved with JFK. So yeah. she was involved with the elites. Yeah. She for also sure. said right before she died, I believe that somebody was after her. She thought she was going to die. So. And then he goes, I still have a soul. Can't say that about a lot of the, these demons I used to surround myself with. Oh, that shit just gives me the chills. It's scary to think, you know, and then that whole thing with Balenciaga mm -hmm. with the child sacrificing, it, it's so messed up and scary. And if you really look into it and dig, it's dude, real. It's, it's real fucked up. in California. It exists. It's not just like us overreacting to Bal like there's a lot of things. If you actually dig and actually look into it, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's um, some sort of meeting or ceremony that happens every year in California that all of these elites go to. And it's so super on lockdown. Part of the Illuminati, a lot of celebrities have talked about it. I can't really remember the exact name of it, but it is called something very specific. We could probably find the name of it if you just look that up. Like, But they sacrifice. Um, there's also a lot of conspiracies about celebrities having kids that they never showed to the public. Like they never announced that they were having a baby and they actually just kind of sacrifice that child f to gain something. Because God. if you think about it too, like when you're trying to get fame and you're trying to get money, those are all lower vibrational energies. It's not really truly what we're here for. So you have to work with lower vibrational entities in order to get that. But when you're working with a demonic entity, they're not doing it for free. There is an exchange of energy right. and your energy quite literally. That's so scary. Yeah. I feel like there's a way to like that success and that fame without having to go such a bad route. I feel like that's the quick fix. That's the quick way, you, you know, but then you see top. these, then you see these people who actually work their asses off and actually worked for it. And their energy is so much more vibrant and more positive. But then there are the other ones who got that quick hit of fame and it's so just negative and toxic and it's just all for the wrong reasons. Like for instance, I'll never forget this. Um, Jay-Z and Beyonce, there's a reason why they're so successful. You guys can hate me. I don't think they're the I most love talented. Beyonce. But I don't think they're the most talented people in the fucking world. Okay. Like you can hate me. Beyonce is very that. talented, but yeah. They're not yeah. the most talented. There are so many. No, there's truly so many more yeah. fucking talented ass people and so many other aspects that are just as beautiful and sound just as great. And they don't get near the recognition. Why? Because they are pushing them. The mass media is pushing them because they exchange their energy to gain something. Yeah. And it's quite obvious. Um, there, I'll never forget this though. So Beyonce has a song and in the song, I can't remember if she's singing it in another language. I think it's in another language, this part of the song, but it quite literally translates to I'll wipe my pussy with the Bible. And she's in a house swimming and there's upside down crosses on the walls. And but, I looked it up and it's fucking real. <laughs> but then I always wonder, I'm like, is she trying to like be a, what is it? Not ironic, but is she trying to like be like, oh, you guys already think I'm in it, so like here no, you go. I think, or do you think she's actually are probably? I think Jay Z. I think Jay Z yeah, is like together. There's no way. Yeah, no, I think that Beyonce is yeah. kind of like stuck. For sure, I feel but like she's, she's kind of, of a That's what like I feel. stuck in it, but she is doing what she needs to do. But like, I love Beyonce. I don't know why. I just like love her. I'm like, is that part of it? I don't know. Is it just like, I'm not saying like, I don't like her. She's incredibly talented and beautiful, but you got to look at it guys. Like if you scroll through TikTok, there's so many uh, talented people that are so beautiful, just as beautiful that will never, ever, ever get that recognition. Yeah. Just no, for sure. It's so weird to me that it's they're just, just how it is. It's like some people, Oh, I just burped. <laughs> 
they're on the top for a reason. Yeah, some people are pushed, some people aren't. It's and why just, are they pushed? It you is know? what it is. TikTok's a huge example of that. It's it's yeah. pretty crazy. All the celebrity kids, Macaulay Culkin, well, some people coming just forward about overnight it. became stars, just yeah. like Bella Porch. Like it, like so yeah. quick. But, but why? Because they literally. I, I think they push, they push certain people and, you know, stuff like that. Like they have to, but it's so interesting to me. It's crazy. I I also think it's interesting. A lot of the child stars that are now really fucked up because of their upbringing. So today I was watching a TikTok Orlando Brown from that. So Raven, he was going off on a tangent saying, you know what? They already kidnapped my son. They silenced my wife at this point. I'm waiting for them to come and kill me. He's like, I don't even know Raven anymore. Like she ignores me. She sounds cuckoo in our messages. I can't even understand her. He was just going on and on about how in the Illuminati, like said Illuminati and everything, they will do whatever they need to do. The people involved, they will kill. They will, I don't know if I can say. Essay. Essay, they will do anything to get what they need and what they desire in this lifetime because they believe this is what the Illuminati believes is that their soul will live forever if they do these things. That is why they their do them. Their soul will live. Wait, what does that mean? Because like energy will, can't be destroyed. Right, but they're thinking that they will continue to go on in this lifetime. So that's why there's a lot of conspiracies about how somebody else took over like Avril Lavigne's body because like her soul went somewhere else and it's like living. These are like Like, conspiracy theories. If you really, guys, if you really want to dig, like let's fucking dig. I can fucking dig. This podcast is for open-minded people only. So if you're not open-minded, what the fuck are you doing here? fuck, man? Get the fuck out of here. Get lost. Don't be closed-minded like somewhere else. Okay, we're digging. Um, but yeah, no, I've heard that about Avril Lavigne and her body, like her body, her, her being taken over by someone. I just saw this thing about Britney Spears and how like- She's really not here anymore. Yeah, like people are like, oh my God, this is Photoshopped and stuff. But then there's some weird things happening with Britney. Like Perez Hilton even came out and said there's something wrong too. Yeah. And I don't know, a lot of people have said there's things that are wrong, like Britney is not here or Britney is passed on or Britney has run off somewhere. There's so many conspiracies right now because her Instagram is just not, her. it's like old photo, it's yeah. old videos, it's old photos, reposts, it's just not Posting what- about her sister who she doesn't even speak to. Yeah, like wasn't yeah. it like like uplifting Jamie yeah. Lynn and it's like- so strange. But she was trashing her not very long ago, you know, because- I think that she will be pronounced dead soon, mark my words. Come you back to this that? podcast. I when, hope not. It, I love Britney. She was my first <sighs> concert. Like I idolized her. I think she was such a beautiful soul and just got completely lost. Like not at, like against her will within this because of her dad and the people she was surrounded with. Well, they have a whole South in South Park, pre- like Simpsons and like South Park and stuff. They've predicted things, which is yeah. so weird, but they have an entire episode on Britney Spears and it's it's kind of a fucked up episode, but it's the point of it and the message around it is so true. And it's so mm-hmm. like, like literally, so it's, you'll have to go watch. It's South Park, South Park's fucked up guys. It's just South Park, that's just what it is. But um, it's like Britney, she like shoots herself in the head. And so she's she's not okay is the message clearly. Clearly, Britney is not okay, but they're still pushing her on stage, making her do things. Yeah. She's on stage, like without a head, like half of her skull is mm-hmm. there. And she's on stage trying to sing. And they're like, oh, she sounds like shit. And they're like, well, yeah, she has half of her, her head. She's not okay. Right. You know, like, yeah, she's not going to sound good. Like they're trying to defend them and they're like, oh, well, it's just Britney. And like the paparazzi ends up killing her for corn at the end. And it turns into this whole thing. Like the paparazzi goes up and everyone like just kills her with their cameras. Like at the end, it's so, you guys have to watch that one. It's like, it's really, it's, I don't know, honestly, like it's really disturbing, but it's, kind of like exactly what has happened with her. Yeah. Like the media just killing her slowly. Right. 
and it's sad. Like, yeah, I, I feel like she's been being. I don't think slowly. she's ever going to be the same. I don't I think, think she's, she's going to be pronounced dead soon. I think to be not. honest with you, I don't even think she's here with us anymore. That's just a weird feeling that I get. Really? Yeah, I get a weird like there's something so strange. I feel like they're kind of covering it up right now because they're not ready to like come out and say that like she's. Yeah, dead. I was thinking maybe she's just somewhere else and she's not I don't know kind of like how there's conspiracy this is all conspiracy guys we're just like we're just talking oh yeah so like yeah. <laughs> so, I just don't get a good feeling like yeah. I, you know like, well a lot of people don't is like the yeah. the really hard part to swallow is a lot of people think that Britney's gone they just do oh really a that lot of people on anymore? a lot of people on TikTok have oh, said shit. that but I'm just like, I think maybe in my heart of hearts, I'm just hoping that she's off somewhere and maybe is run off. Maybe, I don't know. I just uh, hope that she can really figure herself out and get away from it all. But maybe she never could. Maybe this is just, I don't know. It's don't so know. sad. Guys, there's, there's just so free many Britney. Things. Like, I don't know if she'll ever be free. I know. I don't think so. Like, even the conservatorship, it's not even really ended yet i think she's still isn't that the whole thing is she still stuck in it kind of like everyone's like clearly she needed it look at how she acts it's like well if you were in the conservatorship for that long you lose your mind too i would post naked yeah like she's posting naked pictures and stuff but she was trapped for so long like mentally she is was trying to find freedom for herself in some way some way to feel free and that's what she did was yeah. like, fuck you, I'm gonna post naked because like, fuck you, basically. Yeah. Oh, but God. there's so many celebrities that were caught within this trap and um, this kind of ties into it, but like MK Ultra, the mind control conspiracy, yeah. which is truly something that exists. It was like the CIA came out and said that we do use this as a war tactic and we have been for years. Human mind control. It is a real thing. You guys can look it I up. I believe in it. MK mind control, the, the Kardashians. The Kardashians. The Kardashians. The Kardashians apparently are like a huge example of that. Katy Perry is a huge example of that. People in the media um, that are just some of the biggest celebrities that are being controlled um apparently the the powerful elites are able to control their minds to make them do things you can see on stage with certain celebrities performing they kind of lose themselves they they like their eyes like gloss over and they look like their soul left their body Katy mm. Perry has done that. She um, did it on purpose on stage the other week, though, like as a joke. No, but there was one time where she passed out. And then there was another one. Who was it? I can't remember. Who the fuck was it? It was not just Katy Perry. It was somebody else. There's a lot. It's like pretty well known. I'm trying to think. There's was like the Beyonce? reptilian eyes, too. Pro oh, Beyonce oh. at the the game. Oh, Beyonce. When she's at the game. Out? No, and she's like frozen. So like I don't know if she was off. like, I don't know if she has anxiety and she was disassociating or something, no, like but she was off. like gone for, it was, it's they weird. Like reset her. her <laughs> That's what it looked like. No, it looked like they did That's too. What I'm that shit's scary. Okay guys, we're going to get out of this scary shit and play a little game really quick. I don't know what button, sh what should we press for the game? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we're playing a game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make that a sound. Just, woo, yeah. We're playing a game. <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> you hate okay. me. Ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Chris, are you ready? Kelsey, can you not hear me? Are you ready? You know, you can like move this. I know, but then I'm trapped. <laughs> okay. <You're> <laughs> your good friend is a stockbroker and invests your money for you. You get very good returns. You suspect that illegal activity is going on, possibly to the, possibly to the detriment of smaller investors. There is no way that you will ever get in trouble. Do you a report your suspicions to the authorities, or b continue enjoying your high returns? No. <laughs> a or B. <laughs> I would definitely not keep going. A. Yeah, A. One, karma. Two, you will get fucking caught. Like, I'm good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. But it, it does say there is no way that you will ever get in trouble. Karma. Is that like what you think at the moment? I don't know. Karma. Yeah, no, karma is like, very I'm, real. I'm good. Yeah, that's true. Don't okay, I would do A. I was thinking, I was like, but no. Right. There's Kelsey. right and there's wrong, guys. Yeah, Kelsey. <laughs> I'm all, mm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Titanic, you are a, well, I'm assuming you're on the Titanic. It's okay. Titanic, you are a first class passenger aboard the greatest ship ever built, but it has now struck an iceberg and is sinking in the North Atlantic. The captain has ordered the evacuation of the ship but there are limited lifeboats available. There are hundreds of third-class passengers locked in the lower decks. Do you A, release the unwashed masses because it is the proper English thing to do, or B, jump on the nearest lifeboat, buying a first-class ticket has some privileges after all. Oh, I already know I'd be saving people. I have had so many visions about the Titanic, I can't even tell you. I obsess over it, I'm like, I can't believe this happened. I met one I lady. I try to like play it in my head, like what if this didn't happen, like this wouldn't have happened. Like I already know I'd be trying to save people. So that would just be me. I'd yeah. probably end up dead. I know. I'd, I'd be dead. I would feel like shit if I just jumped in the lifeboat and like watched people drown. Yeah. I would feel like shit, but then it's like, if you stay, you know you're gonna die, but it's like, you could help all these people onto the lifeboats. Yeah, I would probably end up dead. I know I I'd probably, be helping people. Honestly, if I was in that situation, I, I, I A. Yeah. It was, it's just like, I don't yeah. know. I would feel so bad for the I kids. Would, my guilt would eat me alive. The kids are what I would go after. Oh like I God, would be babies. grabbing as many as I could. Yeah, so there was a spirit that came to me and I guess Lola met her at a seance. I don't know, I don't know. That's what they said, like literally on the spirit box. It was like so the, clear. The huh? Is this at the bunker? No, no, oh. she met her like at a prior seance with her prior like, Owner. Whoever, or I don't know, uh, who, whenever she was at like a seance, I guess she fucking met some lady from the Titanic. And I was like, okay, like who, you know? And like this lady comes in and she has on this like old timey hat and like this big brown coat and stuff like that. And I like said her age. I like found out, you know, that she had babies and like, oh my God, I keep burping. Her family like passed away on the boat. Like everyone died. And the spirit box goes, it says Annie, Elizabeth and Sage. And like, she kept showing me Sage. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, she want, does she want me to Sage? Like I was very confused. And I, I literally look it up, Annie Elizabeth Sage. And it's, and then I write like Titanic and then she pops up the exact lady. I explained like her age, like her losing all her kids on the Titanic. Oh, wow. I think that was like a dog barking outside, <laughs> but it was crazy. Okay. The year is 1962 and you are the leader of a small town in Massachusetts. You have concluded that a number of explained unexplained illnesses are the result of witchcraft. So you have ensured that a number of local witches are found guilty in fair trials. Do you A, hang the witches or B, crush the witches under large stones? But the fuck, I wouldn't do either. <laughs> I honestly would not- You have not to choose, you have to choose. No. It's a moral dilemma. I would not stone them nor hang them. You have to choose okay, A or B. that's like really fucked up. It, like, that's yeah, the game, that, it's called moral white, dilemma. I was a white witch in my past life and I was just an herbalist that lived in the woods barefoot in her cabin with all of her animals and everyone hated me because I made plant medicine. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> Chris's past life is offended. No, I don't, who would you pick? I don't know. I would pick neither, but you have to pick them. A or B. I'd hang them because stoning, they would suffocate and their ribs would crush. Yeah, hanging is like quicker. I think hangers rate. like, hang her. <laughs> <laughs> her, 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 her. <laughs> it's a quicker way for them to go. But like in 1692, and you're a leader of a small town, Oh, I guess like you're, the but witch then trials. it's, yeah, they thought that the disease was caused by the witches. I right. would go and figure out where the fuck the disease came from instead of blaming 
witches of all right. people, but like, that's just me, but we only had two choices here. So let me know what you guys would choose. <sighs> My past life's offended. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about witches a little bit. I did just go to a witch's cabin that is said to be cursed by a witch. And I want to go into like a little bit about witchcraft and I don't know, what's like one of the craziest stories you've heard about a witch hmm. that you can think of? That I can think of, I'm trying to think. Um, well, like a real witch. I've never been anywhere where there was like the fairy plantation house in Virginia where I went with Omar. There was the witch there that was um, basically captured and just like, like mistreated and like abused for a really long time. They took her kids from her. She wasn't even a witch. So like a lot of times, and again, like going back into my past life, if you were just untraditional and like you studied plant medicine or lived off the land, they would consider you a witch. She basically grew up as a farmer's daughter and she knew how to do everything that a man could do. It was just very unconventional and they really outcasted her. Somebody didn't like her and accused her of being a witch. So what they would do when they thought you were a witch back in the day is tie you to a chair and throw you into the lake or the river. And if you sunk, that meant that you are not a witch. Like if, who the fuck determined that? If you flow, <laughs> like, that means that you are a witch. So her knowing how to get herself out of a bind because she grew up just like living off the land, having to like fend for herself, was able to like undo the ropes around her hands and she was floating in the river. So they considered her to be a, a fucking witch. But there's wow. just a lot of stories about that. I've never been anywhere where like I've experienced a witch yeah. or witch energy, but it does exist. Yeah, no, for sure. I like the witch's cabin was so crazy. And we will get into that in the next episode of Intoxicated. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. Make sure you guys are subscribed or hit that like button. Give that podcast five stars, guys. Not five. one, not two, not... Live. If Bye. you guys, if you guys like us um, here on Intoxicated, go give Chris Star a follow. Um, shout out all your social medias and spell them out for us. And go to www.thecrystallinesoul.com to get your crystals. I don't think I said that earlier. Oh my God, no, but they will. It, the, yeah. the link's down below in the description, but it is the Crystalline Soul, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-L-I-N-E-S-O-U-L.com. Um, yes. Uh, so I go by Chris Star, K R I S S T A R on everything. Um, well, YouTube is Chris Star. My social medias are at it's Chris Star, I T S K R I S S T A R. Um, and yeah, that's it. Tito says bye, Tito everyone. Says bye, guys. Bye, 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 everybody. Bye. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Stay woke, everyone. Mm -hmm.